Kia ora te whanau, no mai hoki mai. Now, I've had someone ask me recently that can they get their MetaMask uh, seed phrase back off their computer because their browser has crashed and they can't seem to access the um, MetaMask uh, in their browser. And this is not the first time somebody asked me this. I had somebody not long ago also say that they keep on trying to open up MetaMask and it just won't open. All right. So the good news is there is a way. Now, as long as you haven't deleted uh, MetaMask, the actual MetaMask extension, because uh, that'll delete all the files. However, if you have used uh, the restore option on your computer, you can always go back to a, a date when you restore, when you got a restore point or a backup point. So just know that if you've if your computer's crashed or anything's happened to your computer uh, and you have access to the hard drive you can always plug in that hard drive to another computer to access the data because all you need to do is just be able to access the folders you don't have to access the browser anymore okay just the folders and i'm going to show you how to do that okay it's really simple actually all right so if you look on the screen it's actually an article written in metamask but i'm going to show you how to do it uh, just so it makes it a little bit more simplified for you Okay, so I'm going to bypass all this and I'm just going to come down to here uh, where it says Vault Extraction and Decryption Instructions. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to show you in the Chrome browser, but this will work with Brave, Edge and Opera as well. Okay, and Firefox. Uh, so it'll work with all these. All right, now the way that this works basically is that, that there's a tool that if you uh, navigate to the right file, it will then... Uh, decrypt it if you've got your MetaMask password. So if you can remember your password, then you're fine. Okay, so I'm going to show you how that works. Uh, and then we might dive a little bit deeper uh, into something else. But, you know, really this video is just about that. If you want to get really uh, crazy about it, <laughs> check out my course. All right, so, but what I'm going to do uh, is come down here and I'm going to open up the Chrome-based browsers right here. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. And right here, this tool. Okay, so I'm going to click on that tool. All right, so this is the tool. All right, now all we need to do is we need to navigate to the data, database backup file for MetaMask, for the actual browser. So when you install it, it creates this file, this database file, and that actually has your seed phrase encrypted in it. Okay, so this tool will actually decrypt it as long as you've got your password. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is click on database backup, all right, and then choose your file. All right, and then you've got to navigate uh, to the right place now i'll leave right on the screen now i'm going to leave you the uh, paths uh, if you're on windows uh, now i think the mac version is not working at the moment i'll take a look at that in a moment but i'll leave the mac version on the screen right now the path to it but i'll show you how to do this now the first thing you need to know is you might your app folder app data folder it might not even be visible on your computer because by default it's hidden okay so you might need to actually enable it so the way that you do that so if you come down to, uh, I'm on Windows by the way, if you come down to your search function on the bottom left here and just click on that and just type in File Explorer. Okay, so File Explorer and it's this one here. Okay, so File Explorer, click on that. And then when this comes up, all you need to do is go to View, all right? All my crap in there. Uh, go to View, all right, click on that and just go to Show and then show hidden files, all right? This has to be checked. So now if I click on that, it's gonna show the hidden app data file uh, that I actually need uh, to navigate to, okay? So I'm gonna close this. So now that it's unhidden, we're good. I'm gonna close this. Okay, so we'll come back to here. Now we've got our app data uh, folder is visible. We just need to come back here, click on choose file, click on choose file. All right, now you need to come to your uh, PC Okay, and just find your Windows, your you know your operating system that you've installed everything on. Okay, which is C by default. All right, so click on C. All right, and then come down uh, to Users. All right, click on Users, and then whatever your name is, mine's Sosha, but yours could be anything. Okay, I'm going to click on that. Now, the file is called App Data. All right, now it should be in here. There it is here. Okay, App Data. So you want to click on App Data. All right, and then you need to click on local, click on local, uh, come down to Google. So come down to Google, okay, because this is Google Chrome. If you had Brave, you'd come up to Brave software, okay? It's the same principle, and I'm going to show you with Brave, all right? So come down to Google, 
All right, and then we need to come to Chrome. Okay, click on Chrome, then User Data. Okay, and then Default. All right, so this will be the same in Brave. All right, Default. Click on that, and then come down to uh, 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 Extensions. Yeah, it's Extensions, Local Extension Settings. This one here. Okay, Local Extension Settings. All right, and then we need to find the one that starts with N. So it's this one, NK. Okay, I, I can see even when I roll over it, right there, it's got the file that I need. Okay, so I click on that, and it's this one, the little low numbered one, not all these other ones. Okay, now what could have happened if, for example, you, uh, you know, tried to import another seed phrase or you tried, you know, something was overwritten, quite often what will happen is it will actually save, this is only for Chrome, it will actually save another database file. It could be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, So you might have two that are low numbers, and they might be for both, for, you know, if you've got multiple seed phrases, all right? So I'm going to click on this. Okay, it's given me that. Now, if it's got a red X, then uh, you won't be able to read it. Let me just show you back on here. So if we come back to here, you'll see that it's got manual extraction. Okay, because what can happen... Let me just show you what it looks like down here. This. Okay, it's, it's sometimes when you import that database file, it'll show you this cannot read vault from file. All right, and so that is when you actually need to uh, do it. You have to do it manually. All right. So if we come down here, manual extraction method. Okay, now this is quite intense. So you, if, if you're new to, to, to crypto and new to this is something that's going to probably take you, it'll probably blow your mind, okay? But I've actually got a video for this. I'm not on my channel, but in the course, but, well, not yet. It's being uploaded. But uh, this is quite involved, uh, and it's a little bit too involved for a video uh, on YouTube, I believe. So it's something that needs to be addressed a little bit more in, in depth. But the problem is here, one of the other problems before I show you this, iOS is not currently available, okay? So I just, so you can't do it on your phone. Android, they are working on a solution, okay? But so it's only extensions at the moment, all right? Okay, so back here, all right, so I've got this, got this, and I've got the check marks. All I need to do is just enter the password that you use to create your MetaMask when you first, you know, set it up. So I'm sure you got your password. If you haven't, there's actually a way of figuring that out, but that's for another video, all right? So I'm gonna put in my password. Okay, and then I'm just going to click on decrypt. Now I'm going to obviously blur out a couple of these words in my seed phrase because I'm actually using this one. <laughs> All right, but I'm going to show you what happens. Okay, so I'll decrypt. And right here, you can see it says mnemonic. Okay, and there's the first couple of words for my seed phrase, but then it's all this. Okay, and right there, and obviously it comes down to where it says print. So that's your seed phrase. Okay, so then you can use that to, uh, you know, import it into any other wallet and you're good to go. Okay, so I just come back here. Uh, you know, look, this can happen with browsers. I've had it happen with me. Okay, and, I, and actually when this happened, I wasn't able to get my seed phrase back at the time. Uh, I didn't know this, this existed. So the thing is, is that, uh, you know, it can help in many situations. So just here, I'll leave a link to this actual article, but here it shows the paths. All right, for Windows 10 or 11. Here it shows, you know, which file you should get, which ones you won't, all right, but it will do this. And then, you know, having, mul so what else? Just one other thing. If you use multiple profiles, okay, on Chrome, which I do actually, you can go into each profile and just follow the exact same path, okay? If you're on Windows, go to the exact same path in your different profile when you navigate. Uh, let me just quickly show you this. So if I come here, and I come back to uh, Chrome, user data, uh, see here, I have profile 10, 11, 13, 14, 15. So if I go into 10, which is just another, it's another Chrome account that I've created, right? Not another Google account, another Chrome account, but you might have done the same. So you can go into this, into here, all right? And then just come down to, uh, 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 where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There, local extension settings. 
okay? And then my, the only reason why it's not showing for me because I don't actually have a MetaMask wallet in that particular profile. But if it did, it would start with NK. Okay, it'd be like this, but an NK. Uh, if I come back here and go to maybe 11, maybe 11 might have one. Uh, where are we? Local extension settings. Yeah, see, this one's got one here, NK. So that's MetaMask, see? And then I've got this one here, all right? So now this might work, it might not. Let's check it out if I open it and we're good, all right? Okay, and so it's also, if I decrypt, right, well, it's incorrect password for that one. But anyway, it will work, right? Because I've used a different password. So that's how you can get your seed phrase back. Uh, if you need any extra help, drop a comment. Uh, there might be something I can help you with. Uh, if, it, if it's, don't ever think it's doom and gloom. There's usually a uh, way to solve a problem in crypto. And that's what I'm all about, is trying to help people and solve problems. Have yourself an amazing week. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Kia kaha.